always start the day with a plan because when you have kids, yes, things are going to be outside of your control, but after they go to bed, it's up to you how you want the night to end. hello guys welcome back to my channel we are in my bathroom right now and the kids are napping it's around 1 20 and i decided to share my nighttime routine i understand it's one o'clock in the afternoon right now which is not night but in order for me to have a successful nighttime routine nice relaxing night to myself it starts right now today my goal is to do a hair mask and wash my hair because it is so oily and i can't stand when my hair is oily so i normally wash my hair once a week and i do the same exact thing once a week i do a hair mask once a week and by hair mask i mean coconut oil literally that's my hair mask i have an actual quote unquote hair mask in my bathroom right now and I don't like it. It's been sitting there. I should probably throw it away. Um, I read that the coconut oil, I just feel like it's more moisturizing. It makes your hair so soft, so shiny. Um, it really makes it so healthy. So if you are currently on the lookout for a hair mask, look no further. Always start the day with a plan because when you have kids yes things are going to be outside of your control but after they go to bed it's up to you how you want the night to end so that's what we're doing the house is a mess so that's the number one thing that i do when they nap is i get the house organized again some moms may think it's pointless because it's gonna just get messy again but honestly it helps to set the second half of the day up for success so that it's not as bad at the end of the day. If I just let the mess like build up all day and all night, it would take much longer for me to get things ready once I go to bed. So that is the second thing that I do. Anyway, this is the condition here right now. So let's get this organized and get the rest of the house organized too. Let's do this. tea from last night, clothes that needs to be donated, and cough drops that I've just, there's nothing left yet because I've been coughing for two months, so, but that was easier than I thought.
lots of progress has been made. I wasn't even going to clean the kitchen, but I'm going to just make a bottle for Vincent and clean the countertops a little bit. Maybe put my bag away, just little things that I don't need to worry about later. So you guys can see how all this can become very overwhelming if I just let it stay for later tonight when they go to bed. Doing this, this is what I do every single day. Like they go down for a nap. I get the house nice and organized because later it's not going to be half as bad. So in like 10 minutes, I can clean up and then I can have time for me. I'm going to put this Santa letter away, but I wanted to show you guys this. It's so cute. He obviously ripped it apart, but he loved waking up to a Santa letter and a little nice list certificate from Santa Claus the other morning. The cutest, cutest Christmas tradition. So if you guys are looking to do something for your kids and you haven't done something like this yet, I highly recommend. of holly fa la 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 tis the season to be charlie i don't know how much longer i have i'm going to meditate i'm trying to meditate every day and this is a habit i want to start for 2024 and whenever i want to start a new habit for the new year before the year begins not on january 1st it's always around november december because I want to make sure the habit is already established. So let's do that. Today's my third day only, so we're just starting. But I used to meditate a lot before, and I feel like I was a different person. I was so zen all the time. I had people all the time commenting on how my energy was so light and bright, and that is the energy I want to bring to 2024. So. Wish me luck and let's meditate. This meditation is going to invite you to come within, to sit with the heaviness and to try to find calm. And if not calm, stillness in the midst of really tough times. guys wow that meditation if you have the melissa wood health website subscription i highly recommend doing that meditation when life gets heavy i dozed off it was so powerful so deep and it just it just hit home i cannot believe they're still sleeping by the way but you know i'm just gonna Take it in and enjoy it. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys when they go to bed so we can do a little self-care night and I'll show you what that looks like. See you soon. You guys, it's eight o'clock right now. I'm shaking. Well, the kids are sleeping and um, I went to walk back, my dog. 
and I'm, I've been so out of it lately. And this is why I'm trying so hard to make self-care a priority. I open the door, I have the leash in my hand. And I open the door without putting the leash on his collar. And he runs away. I'm like, I'm shaking. Oh my God. He runs away. He is so fast, this dog. And he just like runs up and down and up and down. And I just quickly get back inside the house and I get treats for him, like all his favorite treats. And I come back out with the treats and I'm calling him to come back to me. And he'll like come back and then run away again and then come back, run away again. And nothing stops him. And then like one of our newer neighbors like stops, um, like parks outside their house. And I'm trying to like, I, I'm thinking they're going to help me. But no, not at all. They actually were just like, don't touch me to the dog type of thing, which he's harmless. So that was kind of frustrating. But anyways, at that point, he like goes to their, not backyard, but like the back of the house, which leads you to the other street. And I'm like, I lost him. I lost him. Like, there's no way I can catch up to him at this point. Um, so I'm just thinking like he has a caller with his like, our address and telephone number and all those things so i at that point i'm just praying that whoever finds him will call me but either way i was like ready to go to that that street but i just wanted to like be ready you know next thing you know i'm outside literally calling him and he comes back out of nowhere and finally accepts the treat well sort of you know he comes all the way up to my hand where the treat is but then as I go to grab him, he runs away again and then comes back. And I just like walk to the door with the treat and he comes to the door with me and I got him in. So, yeah, I'm a little bit stressed out. I can't, I honestly can't even believe he came back. I can't believe it. I'm so lucky. Oh, my God. Anyway, so now I'm going to shower and try to relax a little bit um, and wash this mask off. I don't know if I'm going to do my hair today or tomorrow. Normally, I wait the next day. I've noticed that with the blow dryer that I have, the brush slash blow dryer, those usually work best with your hair dry. So maybe I'll wait until tomorrow. We'll see. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. And um, yeah, and I'll take you guys along for the rest of the night with me. Mm -hmm.